So Coinbase kind of made a blunder in the marketing department when they decided to name their product Coinbase Wallet. You know, because you got you got your regular Coinbase, and then you got your Coinbase Pro, and you got your Coinbase Wallet. What the heck is Coinbase Wallet? We're gonna explain what Coinbase Wallet is right now. Um, thanks for watching the video. Let's just do it. All right. Okay. So Coinbase has the Coinbase that we all know and love. The Coinbase app, right here. Two things. They have. Three products, they have Coinbase, they have Coinbase Pro, and they have Coinbase Wallet. We're talking about Coinbase and Coinbase Wallet. So this is Coinbase, your regular Coinbase. If you go in the App Store and look up Coinbase, then uh, this will come up. This is the exchange. But then they also have this other product called Coinbase Wallet. So what the heck is the difference? Well, we're going to dive into it right now. Okay, so... I guess the easiest for, way for me to explain is, let's create an example. Okay, so let's say you have the bank, right? You got, I don't know, Wells Fargo right here, because why not? Choose the, the worst, choose the worst bank in history. Wells Fargo, okay, you wanna send your friend some money. This is you, and this is your friend. This broke bastard over here. You wanna go ahead and shoot your pal some currency. And however you do this, whether it be Cash App or Zelle or whatever, or even Coinbase, the exchange, you have to go, I don't know, here's the, here's the dollar, whoops. You have to go through, in order to get to your broke friend over here, has to go through this central authority, Wells Fargo right here. In order for your broke friend to receive said moolah, Wells Fargo needs to be there, or in this case, Coinbase needs to be there. Okay, so like, so in the Coinbase exchange, when you send money, when you send funds to your broke friend, Coinbase is the intermediary between your, between your exchange. Coinbase is acting as the third party. But wait, that doesn't make any sense. I thought Coinbase was a crypto exchange, you know? No centralized party well you're right and you're wrong but wait doesn't that go against everything crypto stands for isn't crypto supposed to be peer-to-peer -peer transactions without a middleman well yes that's where the coinbase wallet comes in you see the coinbase wallet is a little bit different because the coinbase wallet is a real wallet you see the coinbase wallet is a wallet that is that is directly tied to the blockchain so when you hold funds in your coinbase wallet and you send the funds to your broke friend, you see those funds are actually going straight to your broke friend, you see? Because you have a wallet that's reading the blockchain and they have a wallet that's reading the blockchain. So the funds are just going wallet to wallet, right? No intermediary, that's the difference. So what are the pros and cons of using Coinbase the exchange and Coinbase the wallet? And which one should you use and can they be used together? We're gonna answer all these questions in this video. So the first thing you need to know about the Coinbase, regular Coinbase app, is it's pretty centralized, right? Because it's an exchange. So on the Coinbase exchange, you can take money, real USD money, paper money, give it to Coinbase, and in return, they will give you the coin of your choosing. Because they're an exchange, you see. And vice versa. When it's time to sell your precious coin, after it appreciates a little bit, hopefully, you say, here, Coinbase, take my token, and they're like, Okay, thanks for the token. We're going to give you back. I don't know. We'll give you like double the double the money back because your crypto doubled in this time. So you get this money back here. So that's the reason you use the exchange. You use the exchange to use money to buy cryptocurrency and then they give you the cryptocurrency and they hold it for you. Keyword there is for you. Now remember I said because it's an exchange and it's like a bank, that means that it's regulated like a bank. That means the gov has his eye, has his eye on Coinbase and you, just making sure that you guys are both following the rules, because you know, because we don't want, because you know, we don't want any, we don't want any fraud, grrr. <laughs> All right, so yeah. So yeah, there's that. And another thing, Coinbase is kind of like 
yo dog we trust you and all you, you can hold this crypto we're gonna say it's yours and everything but it's really ours because we have what's called your private key we have your secret code just embedded in your account and yeah you can have it psych we're gonna keep it for you because we don't trust you you see if you lose your private key let's see your private key just like disappears yeah that means you lose access to your coin too yeah and we don't trust you so in order to keep your coin we're gonna we're gonna hold on to your private key and we're gonna keep it nice and safe away from you so you can't mess it up so yeah that's coinbase but coinbase wallet is the total opposite coinbase wallet is what crypto is supposed to be coinbase wallet is over here like i totally trust you i think you're totally sick you're totally cool I'm gonna let you hold your crypto, bro, because I totally trust you. And not only that, I'm also gonna give you your private key too. So yeah, bro, you just enjoy that. Uh, but also, if you lose your private key, if you lose that private key, you lose access to all your crypto. I can't help you. There's no customer support. You're on your own. It's like you're losing cash. It's like cash falls out of your wallet. Who are you gonna call? But yeah, go crazy. So yeah, Coinbase wallet, how crypto is supposed to be held, you know, you have true ownership of your crypto because it's your wallet, you have the private key, and it's truly decentralized because it's on the blockchain, it's not being held in an exchange. Now, it's important to note, to note that not all coin, Coinbase exchange transactions are off-chain. Some of them, or actually most of them, are on the blockchain, but for some things like swapping crypto within the exchange, it's off the blockchain, so it's not on the public ledger. So why would you choose one over the other? Well, on Coinbase Exchange, not only can you buy and sell crypto, if you're ever locked out of your account or you lose your password or something else were to happen, Coinbase has a large team of customer support that can probably solve your problem for you in a timely manner. Not only that, Coinbase is FDIC insured up to $250,000, just like a bank. So if something were to happen, I'm not saying Bitcoin were to get hacked or anything, but like let's say Coinbase were to get hacked or there were to be a data breach or something, your funds would be safe because they're insured. And that's why they don't give you your private key because they want to take all the heat if something were to go wrong because they're that confident that nothing's going to go wrong. So that's what Coinbase is in a nutshell. More of a centralized exchange. Whereas Coinbase Wallet is a decentralized exchange. Even though you can't trade fiat money for crypto on Coinbase Wallet, you can swap cryptocurrency for other currency. And you can also combine these two so you can buy crypto with money off of Coinbase's exchange and then send your tokens onto your wallet where you'll have true ownership of it because you own your private keys. So if the government were to say, yo, crypto is banned everywhere because Coinbase is a centralized exchange and they are regulated, they would have to comply under the law and ban any kind of trading of crypto. It's kind of what Bitcoin was created to solve. But if your funds are on a decentralized exchange or a wallet, like Coinbase Wallet, the government cannot shut it down. They would have to shut down every computer running the Bitcoin software or the blockchain for the token that you're using. So you get more freedom, but you get less security. Now you may be wondering, is that all the Coinbase Wallet can do? Well, not only can Coinbase Wallet connect to the blockchain and basically hold all your cryptos, but it can also hold NFTs. Not only that, there's a decentralized browser so that you can browse the decentralized web. This is basically your window into the blockchain. And like mentioned before, you can swap cryptos with decentralized exchanges running on the Ethereum blockchain. So it's easier than ever to swap your ETH for another ERC20 token. Like if you wanted to grab some SHIB, not financial advice, they definitely don't have 100 ETH. And because it's decentralized and you own the private keys, it's truly your crypto. Now, of course, you can't connect this to your bank at all because there's no account. But if you wanted to sell, you could easily connect it to Coinbase Exchange and sell there. Coinbase Exchange is what's known as a custodial wallet. And Coinbase Wallet is what's known as a non-custodial wallet where you own the private keys. Now, what would I suggest you use? Well, if you're a beginner that just invests in crypto passively and also you don't trust yourself with owning your private key, then Coinbase Exchange is fine. Honestly, it's not even that bad. It's pretty great. But if you're like, no, I want my crypto to be my crypto and I don't want anyone to control it, grab yourself some Coinbase wallet, make a private key, and for God's sake, keep it private and keep it safe. If you lose that, you're done. Hopefully this cleared up some confusion for you. 
as always, this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. This is for entertainment purposes only. And by the way, if you want to start trading crypto today, there's a link in the description to sign up for Coinbase. If you spend $100 on any crypto, you and I both get $10 in Bitcoin. So yeah, leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe. We're at 25 subscribers now. Let's keep it going. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace out.